chair now recognizes Ms. Matsui for five minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And as co-chair of the Congressional Spectrum Caucus, along with Mr. Guthrie, I wanna thank you for holding this important hearing. Um, spectrum governance is a fundamental part of sustaining America's competitive edge in the 21st century. From five and six, Wi-Fi six and a satellite broadband, it's important that the federal government is speaking with one voice to move us forward. Um, I have a question regarding um, Spectrum Pipeline. To ensure that the United States remains a global pace setter and wireless communications technology, a reliable pipeline of Spectrum is needed. While we have exciting opportunities coming up in the 2.5 and 3 gigahertz bands, beyond that, the picture becomes less clear. I believe the second seven gigahertz band presents a meaningful opportunity to keep our pipelines uh, strong. However, given the amount of federal users in that band, we need to proceed carefully with a whole of government approach. And that's why I sent a letter to NTI Administrator Davidson yesterday, urging him to commit to finishing the 2019 study on seven gigahertz. Uh, Mr. Geis, Mr. Bergman, can you describe the characteristics of the seven gigahertz band, how they might be put to use to support commercial operations. Thank you, Congresswoman Matsui, and thank you for your leadership on spectrum issues. You've really been a great asset for everybody to have on these issues. What I would say is that this is another example where uh, mixed access regimes will be beneficial to the outcome. You know, what we learned in CBRS uh, was that based on spectrum coordination over a period of years, four to five years of coordination, hearing the agencies out and, and, and working through the NTIA and FCC interagency process, only after that period of hearing folks and, and really taking in their perspective, did we get to a situation where we could utilize the most of that band in seven gigahertz mm -hmm. where they're very sensitive military systems and a real need for DOD to have its voice heard through the NTIA process, only by doing that can we, can we really utilize this band to its fullest potential. Uh, like I indicated, okay, I think the lower seven, mega, lower seven gigahertz is a real opportunity for unlicensed, uh, but we do see that there might be licensed opportunities. But I think only by going in with that sort of open mind for ver a variety of access regimes can we get the federal agencies to really focus on what the realm of the possible is for that band? 